awesome losers and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be showing off my hoarding problem, or in other words, my sticker collection. Now you might be wondering why my stickers are in this sad box. I actually use this box for a trivia game I made as a kid, and when I try to take off the paper, it just refused, so I have not redecorated since. I thought about spicing it up with some wrapping paper, but my collection has slowly gotten bigger, so I might be moving to a different box soon. I do like how this box is deeper than most shoe boxes, so I can place the stickers on their side for easier access. Now this isn't every sticker I've ever owned, I have given away or used them, but these are all the stickers I have at the current moment. I also used to work for Michaels and I got 30% on top of sale items, so it just kinda progressed my sticker spending habits. By the way, there's gonna be a lot of stickers from Michaels. <laughs> And all the stickers that are in the box currently are not my complete collection either. I still have some that wouldn't fit into the box. I do know where about 90% of my stickers came from, whether that be the store or if they were gifted to me. So I'll be sure to let you guys know where. So go get some snacks, get comfy, because this is going to be a long one, y'all. The first two sets of stickers are from Michaels. This is during the springtime towards the end of the season and they were just really cheap. So I got some of them around 40 cents because there's just so many of them left. Please keep in mind some Michael stickers are seasonal, so once the season is over, they don't sell them again. So I apologize if you do visit Michael's and they don't have the specific sticker you would like to have. stickers are from the brand Wonton and a Million, and there are certain stickers exclusively at Michaels, but I know that they have a website where you can buy other sticker packs and other stationery. I do own a lot of stickers, but you guys will notice I don't use them a lot, but that is something I'm trying to change in 2020. are from the brand Recollections. They sell this brand at Michaels. I'm not sure about other craft stores. Fun fact though, Michaels at least once a month has a 40% off coupon for all regular price stickers and washi tape just for the Recollection brand, so definitely take advantage of it. we have is Sticko and I got all of these at Michaels and as far as I'm aware they should still carry these stickers. Next we have some really cute stickers. I'm not sure what language each one is in. I'm not about to start that controversy, <laughs> but I do know all these were gifted to me, so I'm not sure where these are from. Unfortunately, with these stickers, whatever liquid is in these began to grow like mold inside of them. I don't know if it's due to old age or constant change of temperature, but they are still cute, and because of my sticker hoarding, I refuse to throw them away. <laughs> I 
I think we're getting into a weird area here. Adorable Valentine's Day stickers are from Michaels and heads up I purchased so many stickers that year during Valentine's Day This was from 2019 and they just had such cute stuff and I couldn't say no so be prepared to see a lot of them <laughs> The next category we have is Disney stickers. This section is mostly Disney princess stickers I got when I was a kid. So around 2007, early 2009, because Tiana isn't quite part of the collection yet or Rapunzel. So no Frozen here, folks. I'm gonna kind of speed through these. Not that I don't care about them, but we all know the Disney princesses at this point and none of these are groundbreakingly beautiful. I tried to show these Tinkerbell stickers, but it just wasn't working out. I did later try to turn off some more lights and tried some different lighting settings, but it was just not happening. But it's okay though, they're just they're just basic Tinkerbell stickers. I, I really don't care much for these. <laughs> my childhood stickers. These are all characters, cartoon shows, book series that I grew up with, and I happen to have stickers of them. These have all been gifted or handed down to me, so I'm not sure where these are from. <laughs>
next category we have are some cat stickers. These Pusheen stickers used to be a full sheet, but I cut them to save space. They were from a 2019 calendar my mom had bought, and she gave me the stickers because she felt bad there was another calendar she could buy me. some bear stickers and I know that koala bears are technically marsupials but they are just as cute as bears. The Rilakkuma stickers I purchased at a store called Daiso and the rest were gifted. Start your computations. have the rest of my animal and bug stickers. Start your computations. I think we're getting into a weird area here. Maybe. These stickers have the characters Hoops and Yo-Yo. They're, I think, started originally on Hallmark cards. I know my sister has bought cards from my mom and dad with these characters, and I think these are Valentine's Day stickers that were gifted to me, and I just think they're so cute. These are just like my symbol collection, so no characters here, just symbols and basic shapes. smiley face stickers for some reason. Here are some planner stickers I got from a small happy planner my mom gave me. These phrase stickers were a gift and I find them hilariously relatable. I like this little time we have together just talking. Just talking. Then we have some stickers where I didn't know what category or didn't have a category to put them or I forgot to film them.
holds a lot of miscellaneous small stickers and about 95% have all been gifted to me over the years or have come with other things that have been purchased. And these, of course, or more Valentine's Day stickers, they were actually rolled up so I just cut them into strips to make storing them easier. These two sheets didn't fit in the box, so I kind of just gave them their own category. I bought the unicorn birthday party sheet at Michael's and the donut sheet from Target in the dollar section. And the donuts are vanilla scented, which I thought was a nice touch. After all my sticker books, this cat one was gifted to me from my mom from her shop and I'll link her Etsy down below. She sells homemade journals and adorable stationery. I did use some of the stickers but I stopped because they're just so cute I started to feel bad. I think we're getting into a weird area here. I got this cutie at Michael's and I refuse to use it at all costs. I should probably buy another one, honestly. This one was gifted to me from my aunt and I don't understand how some of the foods have faces and some don't, like I want all of them to have cute faces.
these sticker books are from Michaels and I think they're like a dollar, a dollar fifty each. They're really cheap and if you use a 20-25% off coupon, it's even cheaper. Lisa Frank sticker book at the dollar store and I should really check out the dollar store more for some cute stickers. These stickers are from the 2019 Michael's Valentine's Day collection and you might be thinking, are these the last stickers you bought from that month? And that would be a no, I still have more. <laughs> booklets are from the 2019 Michael's Halloween Fall Collection and I think I actually bought each sticker booklet because I thought all of them were just so cute. gifted to me by my aunt. Cute stickers, but the shape of the booklet is not ideal for storage. My final sticker booklets are from, you guessed it, Michaels during Valentine's Day. I thought these were really cute with the little binder rings. I thought about selling stickers like that, but I felt like because of the small metal ring, it would be a bit of a hassle. So I'm not sure, what do you guys think?
Next up, I have my sticker collection books. All of these were my sister's, but she gave them to me, so then I just put my own stickers in them too, so some of these might look a little familiar. Start your computations. I think we're getting into a weird area here. guys enjoyed seeing my sticker collection sorry for such a long ass video but there was just so much i can't wait to see what other stickers i'll be purchasing in 2020 i am so excited you guys have a great day stay awesome losers bye